This is one of the few centers where you will be trained to cannulate for uh, venovenous ECMO, which is a major draw to our program. But secondly, and perhaps more importantly, um, I think that our program has a very diverse uh, critical care education. We spend a lot of time in the surgical ICU, but also the cardiovascular ICU and the medical ICU. And those core ICU rotations are augmented by other elective rotations in things like infectious diseases and nephrology. There are ultrasound electives available. And I think that Emory, uh, at least for, compared to other places I interviewed, I thought had one of the, the broadest and most well-rounded uh, critical care trainings. And that was one of the, the major reasons I came here. Another thing about our program that I think is, is really important uh, is our, our faculty are very, very invested. And I know it seems a little trite to say that and something like everybody would say, but I, I genuinely feel um, that the people here in the Department of Anesthesia Critical Care uh, really, really care uh, about their patients and about the learners and about us as fellows. And you know, this is evident in a lot of different ways. It's evident in something like uh, uh, Dr. Visa, our program director, uh, texting me after my first day and then again after my first week just to check in and make sure everything was going okay and then if I was having any problems or needed any questions, he reached out to me to check. Fellowship has been great to take care of patients who we just really didn't see in residency. So our transplant patients, um, patients with LVADs and other forms of mechanical circulatory support, and with the ECMO experience, I think this fellowship is pretty unbeatable. The biggest, greatest thing about this program is that the attendings are all trained in different specialties. And so we have surgery trained, EM trained, internal medicine nephrology trained, um, anesthesia trained attendings, and it just offers a really wide um, range of experiences and different teaching styles. I would also say our ECMO experience is pretty significant. Um, if you would like to cannulate for ECMO as a fellow, there are so many opportunities to do so either in-house or um, some of the transports that we do as well around Georgia and South Carolina and Alabama. And our ECMO coordinator has been really instrumental in making our experience incredible here. I, I think that one of the other aspects of fellowship that I've found really rewarding is the education opportunities that we have as fellows. Um, I got the opportunity to do a fair amount of teaching as a resident, um, especially as a senior resident, but now that I'm sitting in the fellow role, I find that one of my primary duties is teaching, and it, it's teaching everyone. It's medical students, it's residents, it's nurse practitioners or nurse practitioner students, um, and it's really been one of the highlights of fellowship thus far is having the chance to, to actually be an educator and it was sort of one of the, I knew that the clinical training here was going to be fantastic but uh, the, the amount of teaching that I get to do and the enjoyment that I get out of that has been uh, unexpected but really, uh, really phenomenal.